Hi guys, got a suggestion from MT Spaces 100 that I could use the plastic expanding trellis from Poundland to make uh, various projects, toy cars, that sort of thing. I uh, haven't been in Poundland, I've been in 99p store and got their version of the same thing. Expanding trellis. It's thin, hollow plastic tubing. And the idea is you open it out as a trellis, but as he pointed out, they're easy to take apart. Well, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, there we go. They're even pre drilled if the holes are in the right place. So you should be able to use them, as I say, to make a car or something. Rather like I was using the plastic conduit. So I'll have a look at this and make something simple. And then maybe make something more complicated later. I've pulled a couple of pieces apart. This is all that holds them together, these little plastic clips. I'm rather intrigued with the idea of trying to make a little rubber band powered car as the first attempt using the absolute minimum extra pieces. I've got some wooden cane here or yeah I think it's wood might be um, bamboo that's a tight fit in the existing holes so I might use that as cross members and drill a couple of extra holes either end big enough to put the normal barbecue skewers through I've got some CDs already made up with bottle tops on them, hot glued in place. So we'll we'll just do that. I'll stick. I'll use these three holes and this as cross members. Let's say drill a couple of extra holes either end for the barbecue skewer and see if we can make a nice quick rubber band powered car just as a first attempt to see what this stuff does. He reckons you can cut them with scissors. Let's see what we can do. That cut but it's sort of shattered at the same time. Drill some extra holes. could just use a sharp spike. So I say I'm trying to use the minimum tools. So making sure those existing holes still line up. Let's try pushing a hole through. Okay, but I need them to be a little bit bigger for that to be free running. Same at the other end. So making sure those existing holes stay lined up.
lengths do we want? Pencil sharpener there, just to give us a bit of a point. It's okay, that's okay. I was going to say I was going to try and do this without glue, but obviously I've already used glue on the wheels. So it's not quite going to be entirely without glue. I'd forgotten that. Never mind. some other ones that are already made up, just to save me a bit of time and effort. Right, that'll be a problem. That's going to jam on the edge of the wheel. I have to re reposition those holes in a minute. I'll just get the general idea up together. Easy fix to keep the wheels away from those cross members. I've just got some drinking straw here. to spacers. That'll do. There we are, all assembled. Add some rubber bands to it and see if it goes. We seem to have trouble with this. Rubber band over the back axle, wrap it round so it's holding itself in place, and then wind it up a little bit. I don't expect I need too much to get it going in here. That should be plenty. Easy. That was the length of my kitchen and conservatory. So that was about 8 metres without winding it up very far at all. So very lightweight, very easy to make. Job done. Thanks very much, MT 
S, what is it? Empty spaces 100. Excellent idea. I'll put a link to his video when uh, he uploads it because he's making one at the same time.